Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful, lovely people. Good morning. Happy Monday, y'all. Happy Monday. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And good morning, y'all. Good morning. So, um, I'm going to hop on here real quick and do the morning devotion. And then, um, I got a, a, a training I have to do, um, I didn't think we had to do it this year, but it's this uh it's called G G C N training and it's a lot of um it's a lot of training we have to do. Um let me show y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. So it's a lot of training we have to do. We have to do all these modules. All these modules. I did most of them. I got a couple of more to do. I got a couple of more to do, y'all. So this is what your girl gonna be doing all day today. I'm gonna be sitting here doing these modules. And um Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be sitting here all day trying to complete the rest of these modules and um you know it's training on COVID, training on cut um the different training to do training on DCF, mandated reporter, training on diabetes, um, training on first aid in school, training on medical emergency, and training on medication administration. And training on seizures, sexual harassment, student to student, to student um, hazing and harassment, teen dating violence, suicide prevention, trauma-informed, all this training we have to do. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, as I get done, um, the morning devotion, I'm going to hop on here and do this. So, But before I read the morning devotion, I got my book today, y'all. I had to bring my book today because um, I was running late, rushing out the house, and I said, I just grabbed my book. I didn't have time. I usually take a picture of the morning devotion. But I just grabbed my book today, so. And um, I just want to thank God for his protection powers because on the way to work, on the way to work while I was waiting on the bus, this lady, she lost control of the car. I don't know. She looked like she was intoxicated. But she lost control of the car. And what I was standing at waiting on the bus, it's like she almost came on the curb. And when I saw the car coming, like it was losing control, all I can say was Jesus. I said, Jesus. And when I said Jesus, it's like the car stopped. Her car stopped and then she zoomed off. I said, Jesus. I said, Lord. So that's why we have to pray. Pray at all times. Wherever you go, you, you traveling, you have to pray. Because folks in the morning, man, you have to pray. I said, Lord, I thank you for your protection because if she would have came all the way on that curve and she would have hit me, I'm like, thank you, God. I thank you for your protection. I thank him for getting me to work safely. So I'm going to go ahead and read the morning, the morning devotion. I'm going to pray first. And I'm trying to wait till this train go past because it's loud. And so when it's recording, so y'all won't hear the train. So I'm trying to wait till the train go past. Okay, Heavenly Father, in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ, ruler of all things, Lord, I praise you. I give you honor. I give you an honor and praise today. Lord, I thank you for safe travels. I thank you for getting me to work safely. Lord, I thank you for protecting me from the vehicle that almost hit me this morning. Lord, I thank you for your blood protection. Lord Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for your traveling mercy, um, getting me to work safely and back home safely. Lord Jesus, I pray and ask that you be with me on today, that you lead and guide me as um delivering the one devotion to your people on today. Lord, I pray and ask that you help them, that you meet their need on today. Whatever it is that they're going through, Lord, I pray and ask that you meet every need. And if there's any sickness or illness in their body, I pray and ask that you heal them. That you touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord Jesus, by your mighty Christ, they are healed. 
Lord, I pray and ask that you bind every hindering spirit, that you bind every satanic attack. Bind every stronghold in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray and ask that you anoint my mouthpiece, Lord, as I deliver the morning devotion on today. I pray and ask these things in your precious mighty name, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. So, oh, yeah. I've been having um, Saturday. Saturday, your girl, I was doing some um, packing. I was doing some packing because I'm getting ready to move. So I was doing some packing. I was lifting boxes, and I guess I thought I was superwoman. So after I got the, you know, organized packing boxes up, my back started hurting. My back started hurting real, real bad. I couldn't lay down. I barely can lay down. So I had a heating pad. I had my daughter to, you know, um, as I lay down, so I put the heating pad on my back. And it was still hurting me, and so I just laid there for laid there for a while. Then I started feeling a little discomfort. Then I got the blessed oil, and I was rubbing myself down with the blessed oil. And so then when I woke up Sunday, I woke up Sunday, and then the devil was trying to make me stay home from church. Like you might as well just stay home. Your back is out, and I was like, no. I got up, I jumped up, I said, no, nah, I'm going to church. I said, I'm going to church. With an achy back and all, I'm going to church. I never forget my mom, she always say, like, when you're feeling sick, she was like, that's when you really need to go to church. And so I said, Lord, I'm going to church with an achy back and all. So I got up, I went to church, and when I got to church, before I went to church, I said, Lord, let me, as soon as I walked through, as soon as I walked through the church doors, let me be healed. And so I went to the church, walked through the doors, and um, I was feeling my healing a little bit. And still, when I sat down, like I went to the Sunday school and then the morning service, and I was still feeling like this discomfort, like my back, like now my back needs to be laid up against something. So I got to church, and as the service getting ready to be over, um, my pastors they did the altar call. He do an altar call, and then he do like a call for like if you need prayer. So as I was sitting there, and then they said anyone need prayer, and I just hopped up out my seat and I went and got prayer because I'm like Lord, like I need you, I need you know I need you to hit my back. So I went up there, and my first lady she prayed for me, and so when I got back home. I got back home, I started, you know, feeling my, I started feeling my healing. I said, Lord, I feel my healing. So, um, then my daughter was telling me, she was like, when you do something like that, like you move and stuff, boxes and stuff, she's like, you should have scratched. And I didn't think about that, you know, I was just moving stuff, packing stuff, making sure. I was trying to make it like a, I was trying to make it like a, a smooth job. So like, when we get ready, we get the moving van, all we got to do is just pull the boxes out. That's all. That's how I always usually do it. Like even at my old place, when I got ready to move, I just put everything at the door. I want to be. I don't want to be like wait till the last minute and like you got to go get stuff. So that's what I was doing. So y'all pray for me. Keep me up in your prayers. So the mornings of devotion on today is: Are we? Are we? Ooh we? Are we? Are we? expiring and there's a scripture that goes with this and it said when i consider your heavens the works of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained what is man that you are mindful of me and the son and man that you visit me and that's psalms 8 3 and 4 and the morning devotion read if if it is possible right now go out go outside <laughs> i can't go outside right now y'all <laughs> If it's possible right now, go outside. They say there are 100 and billion stars in our gal gal galaxy alone and the observable universe. There are about 10 billion galaxies. Such contains these stars. He has named and remembered each one. Our planet is set in perfect fashion on its axis. axis spinning in such a way that seasons and days are maintained when it snows there are thousands of snowflakes swir swirling down into even just one tiny city and each of those snowflakes is unique craft sunsets 
Sunsets and sunrises are painted across the sky with a mystery that cannot be likened to any man's hand. God's fingers held the brushes that scrubbed the sky and his fingers embraced the clay that he formed into man. We could go on all day considering his natural works, the examples that inspire. Are we, a we, I think it's a we, a we are boundless. But what, but what was his focus? The one thing he's chosen to breathe his very life into, to make in his image, you. You reflect the likeness and the image of God. He is concisely aware of everything about you. He wants to dwell with you today. And then there's a prayer to go with this. And it says, Father, thank you for your creative hand in making me. Thank you that you dwell with me. And that's the morning devotion for today. A-We. I think it's A-We. A-W-E. A-We. Expire. So I pray that you all was blessed by this morning in devotion. A we, a we expiring. So as you're going about, as you're going about your daily tasks, and as you're riding in your car, or even if you're in a plane, I think that the most amazing part is if you're riding in a plane and you just happen to look out the window and you see the clouds. You see the clouds. I've never been on a plane before. I would love to get on a plane one day because I remember. Um, and my old church I used to attend, uh, the head nurse, and she, the head mother that was on the nurse department, she was telling the story how she got on the plane one time and she just she just wanted to get by the window because she wanted to see the clouds. She wanted to see the clouds. And I was told that the clouds, I was told that the clouds are the dust of God's feet. So if you see the clouds, you look up and you see the clouds. So that means he's everywhere. He's everywhere you see the clouds. That means he's everywhere. You can't name a place that he's not at. So as you're riding in your car, you look up at the sky, you see clouds, you see the sun, you see even at night, you see the stars, you see the moons, whatever. Just you just think about it. God created all that. All that, that you see. Uh, I talked about this when I did the first series in New Beginners Bible Study, the creation, how God, he created the heaven, how he created the heaven and the earth and how he created the sea. So all these things that we see up in the air, God, he created, he created, God made it. So that is so inspiring, uh, so inspiring and so encouraging to know. So I pray that you all was blessed by this morning devotion. Until next time, it's your girl, Melissa. Be blessed in Jesus' name.